Hey guys, West Coast Taco here and welcome to the channel. Today I am going to be going over the Tanu cover I chose for my double cab lawn bed Toyota Tacoma. So this is the six foot lawn Gator SRX Tanu cover. And guys, when it comes to the Tanu cover, I feel like you have to be really careful with which, you know, with the decision you make on which Tanu cover you want to go with. And, and here's why. I live in Southern California. Today is February, where are we at? February 4th, I believe. And it's like 68 degrees outside. It's absolutely beautiful. Like, if you drop somebody into this state right now from another country, they would probably guess right in the middle of spring or early summer. And where I'm going with that is, guys, is that my Tacoma and my bed and this Tanu cover, they take barely any abuse because of the weather. So I'm not dealing with snow. I'm not dealing with salt. I'm not even dealing with a lot of rain. And the whole purpose for this Tanu cover, for me, is to have something I can put over the bed to protect anything I'm carrying around in the back of the truck to keep things from flying out and to actually just keep my, my bed from getting super dirty from when I'm washing it and from the weather and the leaves and debris and everything else flying around. And last but not least, to kind of help with that uh, MPG, with that wind getting caught up against the tailgate, just kind of streamlining, streamlining everything. And I think it also just kind of completes um, the look of the bed. It just kind of adds a finished look to the truck. So, you know, there's multiple reasons why someone would probably get a Tanu cover. And like I said, my main reasons were the ones I had just listed, you know, to protect stuff in the back of the bed, to keep the back of the bed clean and to help with the miles per gallon. Now, the biggest reason I went with the Gator SRX Tanu cover, it wasn't because of its durability. It wasn't even because necessarily the look. It's because I really like how this thing just rolls up. And I'll kind of give you a brief demonstration for you guys that are looking at these for the first time. I'm not really sure what I'm talking about. There's a lever here. You pull this. And this thing, it just rolls. It just rolls like a paper towel. A paper towel roll. And it goes all the way down. And it doesn't take up any extra portion of your bed when it's fully rolled. So it rolls all the way up to here. And then there's these straps that are hanging down against the back of the bed. And you pull the straps up and you hook them on to these loops and it keeps it nice and rolled up and nice and tight. If you guys were to go with a tonneau cover that has the sliding decks that slide back and forth, you're going to lose probably, you know, I'm going to assume 8 to 12 inches of your bed just because of the way the, uh, the sliders have to slide back. There's only so much that they can stack and slide before they run out of space and then they do take up some of your bed when your bed is fully open. So... For me, I didn't lose any of my bed. And then, you know, in regards to the Diamondback ones, those guys make really good Tanu covers, or I should say bed covers, because those things are just things are like solid steel. The problem is that when you want to open them, they pretty much open from the back, and they open from the front. They kind of like have like a hinge in the middle that divides two, so you can gain access to the front or back of your bed. But, you know, once you put that on, there's really no getting off and then you lose the ability to use your bed to, to haul around to taller things without having, unless you, unless you remove it, which would just be a pain to remove and then reinstall and then remove and then reinstall again. So for me, this provided the best of both worlds because I keep the back of my bed nice and clean. I keep things protected, but at the same time, you know, I'm not having to sacrifice the usability and the flexibility of my bed by being limited to what I can put or can't put in it because of height restrictions or depth restrictions um, from the tonneau cover. Now, I will say this guys, when you're buying a tonneau cover, and I'm, I've been kind of hinting towards this and talking about it, you need to buy the tonneau cover that works best for you. Living where I live here in Southern California, the weather here is always phenomenal. Like if you want snow, you've got to go to the mountains to find it. It's not gonna come to us down here in San Diego. For some of you guys that live where you guys get a lot of snow, you know, I don't know how well the Gator SRX Tonu cover is going to do with a bunch of weight on top of it. So if you guys do live in a snowy area where a lot of snow gets, you know, piled up on the bed of your Tonu cover, if you guys have had one of these and you guys haven't had issues, please comment because I think it'd be very helpful because 
I don't know how well they do in the snow. But I would assume that it would make more sense to have like a diamond back or a much more sturdier tonneau cover that can handle that weight. Because guys, this is a leather canvas essentially. It's like a vinyl. And when it's rolled, you know, um, out all the way, it's nice and snug and it's nice and firm, but you can't put anything heavy on it. You're gonna like mess up the vinyl. You might tear it. Um, you could even break something. So it's not made to carry anything on top of it. Like I said, it's really just here to protect the bed and anything you are placing inside of the bed. So if you guys are, you know, typically storing or carrying very expensive or very nice tools or equipment in the back of the bed of your Tacoma or, or truck, you know, whatever it is, make, model. Um, you know, I probably wouldn't recommend this because it'd be very easy for someone to take a knife or take a sharp object and just to cut through the vinyl and gain access to the bed of your truck. But the bed of my truck never, never carries anything, you know, super valuable or super important. I use it to haul things back and forth from Home Depot and Lowe's. If my kids have stuff I need to tow around or pull around, I can throw it in here and call it a day. And then I keep this bed cargo divider in here. So if I go to the grocery store, I can just put all the groceries here in the back, not take up my um, second row seat, and then not have to worry about things flying around and rolling back here. And then close the tonneau cover, and I don't have to worry about the sun beating down on it or things flying out and you know creating a mess. So. The reasons I got this tonneau cover, guys, is just because it's, it provides me with so much flexibility with this truck. I can use the bed whenever I want to fully without it being restricted in size because of the tonneau cover. And then, you know, it, at the same time, it's doing what I needed to do in regards to keeping the bed clean. And I can just do whatever I want with it. It doesn't really affect the bed long term. The bed remains very flexible in its ability to be used and however I want to use it. So I hope that this uh, video is helping some of you guys that are on the fence about which tonneau cover to go with. And at the end of the day, guys, you just gotta pick the tonneau cover that's gonna work best for you. I wouldn't go with like the cheapest one. I wouldn't go with the most expensive one. I would just go for the one that's gonna serve you best because I've learned something very quick in life and that is the cheap man always buys twice. So if you know that this tonneau cover is not gonna probably work for you, don't spend your money, don't waste your time because you're gonna be super upset when it fails you and then you got to go back out and buy the right one. Now you've just paid for two. So, you know, for me, this is perfect. This does exactly what I need to do. And yes, this is probably more on the budget side of the tonneau covers, but it's perfect because, you know, I got to benefit from a very budget friendly tonneau cover that does exactly what I needed to do. It's very clean, it's got a low profile and it's, it's, it's exactly what I was looking for. But for someone else, like I said, that needs a heavier, sturdier, more heavy duty tonneau cover because of weather or what you're keeping in there and you need to be able to lock um, and just different things in general. This is probably not the best one to go with and definitely go for more of like a sliding tonneau cover or the Diamondbacks. But for me guys, this is absolutely perfect and I couldn't be happier with the product. I've had it on my truck for, let's see, since the beginning of January and up to this point, no complaints. What I will say guys is, is this is a very simple tonneau cover to install. What I will make note of and kind of recommend is my little tip is there are these little silver blocks that you guys can see that slide in the bed rail. And inside of this bed rail are little notches for the bed cleats to lock into. Do not try to get these little silver blocks to go in there because they will not fit. They will be more at a 45 degree because they're just a, like just a tiny bit too long. And so the first half will go into the slot, but the other half won't. So position these silver blocks outside of those locking notches on this bed rail and you guys will be good to go. But like I said, guys, it was a very simple install and um, no issues whatsoever. The only thing, and the last thing I'll make mention of is you will have to take off this bar on the back of your bed. It was super easy. And then the uh, the kit comes with these little like foam insulation pads that are, um, it's got like a, like a double-sided sticky tape on one side and it just sticks onto this just to keep uh, debris and water from getting into the bed of your truck. And then that same type of material actually runs underneath all the way provide like a, like a seal between the uh, the trim of your bed and then where the bed rail starts for the tonneau cover. 
But okay, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. If you guys have any questions, any comments, guys, if you guys do live someplace like Michigan or Minnesota or anywhere just where there's a lot of snow and a lot of salt and a lot of like weight maybe that comes on top of your vehicle just because of natural, um, you know, natural happenings like weather and stuff like that, please let me know how the uh, tonneau cover, you know, performs for you and what you guys would recommend for someone that maybe needs a tonneau cover but wants to be able to utilize the back of their bed um to it's pretty much full capacity when when needed like i said from the ones i was finding that had the sliding the sliding boards you know you're you're from what i could see you lose a good chunk of your bed even when it's fully fully open just because of you know they have to stack they have to slide a certain way and then at some point you're just going to have to lose some of it so if you guys have a good tonneau cover you recommend or like for your Tacomas or truck in general, feel free to throw them in the comment section. I'm sure the viewers would love to hear your reviews and your uh, two cents on it. I know I would. And uh, until next time, guys, take care. I will talk to you soon and uh, stay tuned for the next video. See ya.